you know, you make a lot of plays, and as the game goes on, you kind of get a feel for, you know, what teams are going to do and what teams kind of like to do at this point in the year. So, um, just like I said, trust in my culture. Now, you got the ball for the second straight home game. You're, you're, you're getting a pick six. Are you sort of making this a habit here? Uh, hopefully it's a habit, you know, <laughs> it's, it's always easy to, to, you know, create bad habits. But uh, right now I've got some good habits going and, you know, I'm just staying on top of everything that I'm doing outside of the field, off the field. So, uh, you know, it's working, it's starting to show. So obviously when you've had now uh, two pick sixes in the last two home games, when you got that ball tonight, is your first thought just to get to the end zone or just keep running and then once it's saw clear lane and you're just like, I'm gone? Just keep running until you hear a whistle. Uh, you know, it's, it's hard, man. I, I kind of got a lot more respect for offensive players now. I was getting a little gas. <laughs> I was getting a little gas about halfway, but uh, you know, just, just trying to make a play for my team. And then I'll let you go first. Now. I was gonna say, I think RD was was making a joke back there, saying that he thought you were gonna get caught. I don't, I don't know if you maybe want to bring that up to him or not. He didn't, he didn't believe. No, I just, when, what's what's the biggest difference that you you saw from this Edmonton team that you just faced tonight to the one that you guys faced back earlier in the season? Um. I think Trey Ford adds a, a different element to their game. Like you said, um, you can't just sit back and expect them to, to pass the ball. Um, you know, you got to really hone in on, on your responsibility and, and play with great eyes. And, um, you know, I just think they're a loaded team. You know, they have the talent. They have everything there. Um, they just got to figure out how to put it all together. What, what did you make of playing Trey Ford and what did he bring? Y'all saw him run away from me. So, man, he brought a lot of speed to the game. <laughs> Um, these games right here, you kind of, you don't want to find yourself, I won't say playing to their level, but you don't want to find yourself not giving as much as, as they will be given. Um, you know, with us having, uh, being in a position that we're in, you know, you want to go out and compete and, and just try to get as good as we can, you know, until the playoffs. So each game, each game like this matters up until this point. So Edmonton is a team, like I said, they're a really good team. They're fighting. Uh, they got a little life now. So, you know, they're a scary team. It's a team you got to, you know, bring your, bring your A game with. Right. To further up on that point, I mean, you guys clinch weeks ago. And, you know, now you've got a, you know, you had six games from then until now. But at the same time, I mean, this team is still running at a full clip. And, I mean, it doesn't seem like you guys are slowing down the least bit. I mean, what does it say about this group and the mentality and how hungry you guys are to win each week? Uh, it says we matured a lot. Uh, I think earlier, a little bit earlier in the season, I don't think you could say that about this team. And I think just as, as time has gone on, uh, we've faced some adversity. You know, we lost a couple. And, you know, we've won some close ones and came back to win. You know, I just, I just think it just goes back to all the work that we put in, us believing in each other, and, uh, you know, it's starting to show and good things are starting to happen for this team. In your mind, was there a turning point in the season that you think that changed? Um, you don't want to say a loss because typically, you know, it's always a loss that everybody understands that, okay, we're not the greatest thing in the world. We're not the greatest thing since sliced bread. Um, but it might have been that Calgary loss. Just it was early enough to snap us back, but we still have that confidence in us to, you know, know that we are who we are. Could you kind of dive a little deeper into that conversation, what was said, or do you want to keep that one private? Yeah, I mean, most of it private, but, I mean, he's just coming over and uh, just introducing himself, getting to know us. Real genuine guy. You know, it's awesome when you can meet a legend like that and, you know, just say hey and have him know who you are, you know. So it's awesome. For us to have, you know, half the success he's had in his career would be an amazing accomplishment. So it was, a, it was, it was really cool. I know most of us here haven't had a chance to speak with you since that game in Winnipeg. But you know, you come in tonight, obviously, good little chunk of time. Um, what, what have you taken away from these past, from at least Winnipeg, and then now, and in just the progression of where your comfort levels at? Yeah, for sure. I'm, I'm a lot more comfortable from you know the Calgary game to now. Um, just the progression of. You know, just the growth that I've made with, with Coach and uh, the quarterbacks in the room. You know, everybody's, we're a collective group, and we all help each other grow every day. So it's, it's been awesome, you know, the progression. We always want to keep going up, uh, especially late in the season. Um, you know, coming out there today, you know, I just want to go out and manage. You know, that's my job as a backup quarterback, and anytime I'm in as a, you know, if I get a chance to start, I want to manage and put our guys in the best situation to win a game. Kim, I know like, sorry, I know like Chad last year was obviously one of those guys in short yardage situations, you know, goal line situations. And you've become that guy, and you've relished in that spot as well. Um, you know, just wonder the process of learning that, and, and whether or not he's kind of taught you some things of where to find the gaps, and, and and you know, especially being a yard off the ball, it's not easy. You know, being an American coming up here and playing in this league, to doing that. Yeah, no doubt, it was different. But when I came up here, and they told me, you know, that was going to be one of my roles, I was, 
I was very excited about. You know, coming as a rookie, any way I can, you know, contribute to this team, this great, great team that we have, you know, I'll do anything I can. Um, you know, all the credit goes to the old line. If people want to talk about the quarterback, like, the line gets you in there. You know, I'm just, I'm just going behind them. So I'm just doing, doing whatever they can for me, you know, and I'm, I'm grateful for every opportunity. I remember you and I spoke back in July after the BC game when it was just you were next man up, getting the quarterback sneaks in there. How does it feel now, not only that you still do that, but you have the trust in the coaching staff that, hey, they rely on you to come into games, especially like tonight? Yeah, no doubt. You know, for them to have me in there a short yardage early in the season and to, you know, like you said, have that confidence in me to come in and be comfortable with me as a backup. You know, it's it feels good to have that uh, confidence as a, as a team and um, as the coaching staff. So it's, it's nice to have. How is it with having relationships with uh, players that aren't starters because you're not a starter? How much does that help you in, when you're going in for the first time? Yeah, I mean, I think um, it's a, a total team effort. You know, this is the ultimate team game, so you got to be um, – you're only as strong as your weakest link, right? That's what people always say. And, you know, this locker room is probably one of the most cohesive locker rooms I've ever been a part of. You know, every single guy in here has some kind of bond with somebody else in this locker room, and it all the way, all the way to, the, uh, to the end. So – you know, it's really nice being a part of a, of a group that, you know, is truly a brotherhood. Kelly has this set. Who do you have? Whoever, whoever's out there with me, I know they got my back. So, yeah, we, we, got, we got everybody. Okay, Matt, you, you talk about the co co cohesiveness, excuse me, of the locker room. Big word. Um, <laughs> It, it, Wynn was saying too, like you know, he felt he felt maybe at the beginning of the year was a little bit more, a little immaturity almost, and all of a sudden now it's. I mean, you guys are just running at a full clip here, and he pinpointed that Calgary game and that loss of that kind of turning factor where it was you guys, okay, let's flip the switch and be this great team that we can be. Do you kind of agree with that? Yeah, no doubt. You know, every year you go into a football locker room, it's going to be a new team, it's going to be a, a new family, and the way that you can grow as a family is going to be based on the success of our team too. So. You know, every single day, like we mentioned, you know, guys are getting together afterwards. We're all meeting afterwards as an offense. You know, defense is doing the same. And we're bonding in those times as well whenever we're not in the office and we're not here at practice. So, you know, it's good to keep maturing as a team and keep growing one together and, you know, hopefully keep riding this thing out. Yeah, I mean, it's... it's Always easier to play at home when you're sleeping on your bed, you know, just the comfort level um, that you're normally used to. And you don't have to travel, you know, traveling's pretty tough. But, you know, I think, you know, we always want to play good for our crowd. And, uh, you know, we want to keep building our fan base. And, you know, guys take it important. We always say protect our house when we play at home. And we want to play our best when we're home. And, you know, I think defensively, special teams more than anything, you know, they, they play into the crowd. Like a lot of them, you know. Um, we got a lot of talent in, in, in that room, um, you know, so, I mean, we like we always say next man up. Uh, that's really our motto, but, like, we really believe in our depth. And, uh, you know, we got a lot of young guys, you know, maybe not as experienced as uh, some of the vets, but our younger guys are playing well. Our, our starting quarterback? Yeah, he, he struggled at times. And, uh, he wasn't his best. You could tell he had a week off. So, you know, I got to see how I'm going to manage that, you know, moving forward. Uh, we got to get him his reps, make sure he's playing good football. Um, you know, we're going to have the first round buy. So, um, yeah, I, it's not even kind of, I didn't feel like the confidence was there like normal. Uh, you kind of second guess some decisions. I mean, he did a great job climbing the pocket, could have ran on the one he missed Dave on the sideline, but I'm glad he had the vision for it. We just got to make the throw. Um, but, yeah, I thought for the most part, our old line did a great job pass protecting. I thought they did a great job. You know, I mean, he's a great quarterback. He's going to escape the pocket. You know, I thought they did a good job. And, that we made plays on the ball. We knew he'd give us some opportunities for some interceptions. I mean, the play he made right on the sideline, that touchdown was like right in front of me. I'm like, that was an amazing play. We should have tackled him, right? And I mean, that's how we feel. But you know, at the same time, they're professionals. But yeah, we should have made that play, but he made a great play. Yeah, I mean, Witten's, you know, had a big few weeks, you know, intercepting the football. And, you know, uh, you know, I was joking with him. I said, you're lucky because you were going to get walked down, you know. I thought you're faster than that, but I thought he made a great play. And, you know, Wynn's the leader of our defense and, um, you know, infectious leader. Um, guys really respect him. But he puts the work in. And, I mean, he comes in every morning. He's in there, you know, 6, 6.30. I see him every morning coming in. So that's the, the, the important part of it. You know, we got some professionals that, you know, know how to work. And you can see it translate on the field. I mean, like I told the guys tonight, we got to go back to work. And we got to continue to get better and, you know, play our best football towards the end. I mean, this, you know, playoff football, I mean, it's a whole different uh, world. Oh, it was huge, you know, and you know, I'm like, 
you know, because I'm a play caller, I'm like, oh, defense saved us again, you know, like we got to be better on offense. But yeah, that was a game changer right there. Uh, big play by Witten.